Plasma and Magic. Happen, everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Jazz Vince Show. I'm Jazz, and I'm Vince, and we're so happy to be talking to you about Love in Paradise, 90 Day Fiance, all the other whatever names, whatever yeah. other names they got. Now, uh, we're gonna be taking a short break in a little bit just because this is, should be the last episode of the Jazz Vince Show that you get to see with a laggy. <laughs> video because i'm getting a new laptop soon y'all so bear with us <laughs> bear with us this will be a quick one as well uh not much to gain from this episode but we did get to see some of our returning couples come back and do their thing uh and we int- we got introduced to a new couple as well yeah you want to go with them first? Who, you, you want to start with them yeah uh did we also get to meet them first i don't remember we we got the introductions we didn't get to meet him yet though all right let's talk about jordan and everton is it ever time? Ever time. Okay, excuse me. I don't know. Where's he from? He's from Jamaica. Jamaica he lives man. In, uh, he lives in in the Cayman Islands. Ever time from Jamaica man in the Cayman Island. All right. So uh, I already forgot her whole backstory. She's, She's a nudie. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I cut I cut some of the skin out of the picture on purpose, but <laughs> she's does he he's not aware that she's a nudist, right? Yeah. So she she was saying she built like super high uh, fence behind she can walk around nude like her friends came over she was ass naked I'm just like oh that's regular get busy that's just what she doing get okay, busy cool. do whatever you want uh, Everton works on a cruise ship or resort no he does he, wasn't paying attention. he does fun <laughs> stuff like I do she met him in the Cayman Islands right. on, a, on a group trip and I think he was like the boat captain so that's what he did alright I'll give him that yeah so seems cool what yeah what's their deal talk about it because I, I was they've been dating thing. for like 12 years on and off on and off um and she's they're supposedly engaged but no there's ring. no ring no ring what's I don't doing? understand what's happening um, her friend's mad yeah her friends are not feeling it apparently she bought um she bought land in the Cayman Islands in her name but made him power of attorney which is ski um and he take he has two kids he take care of the baby mamas he take care of his family he take care of his mom rainbow he take care of everybody but jordan this just don't sound good does he take care of jordan i don't know she was taking care of him during uh... COVID. so during covid um she is she does lashes but everybody, you know, everything was shut down. So she ended up getting into doing like fetish videos for All people. All snap, like only custom, fans. Yeah, custom fetish videos. He's not subscribed, right? He doesn't know about. He this. has no idea so that's that people's be paying money to see her feats. Man, that's crazy. He's they seeing all types of stuff. They seen they seen some stuff. Yeah. So um, yeah. So I don't know about this. This is gonna be interesting. Um. They seem like they're going to be good TV. That's all I'm going to say. That's why they're on TLC, y'all. TLC knows what to do when it comes to making some good TV out of some funny people. Mm. I don't have nothing else to say about yeah. them. Are we looking to see them succeed? Is is he going to give her some I want to meet eventually? him first to see. We do got to meet him. We haven't yeah, even got a chance to We haven't to gotten him. the intro from him yet. Who so. did we get to see this episode? We got to see Carlin Tyne. Carlin Tyne. Shout out Carlin Tyne. I really like that... Uh, that t-shirt that was a good that's a nice uh combo name too we're Vince loves combo we're names. the jasmine show we're a fan of we're a fan of combo names come mostly on mostly you but yeah <laughs> so what did we get to see from carlin time so basically like uh they broke up a few weeks ago and now they're back together and a uh, valentine flew to columbia clearly on spirit airlines no dang. judgment dang just not for me uh, to meet up with Carlos, and I thought that they were gonna talk about like, yeah, let let's plan this wedding or whatever. They get in the car, and Carlos is like, "So, are we having? Are we gonna have sex? We're about to get married. We haven't had sex." That's what he. That's what he's worried about. And also, we forgot that they are both tops. Why does that keep coming up? Because that's an issue. 
<laughs> intimacy it's a thing they are both very sexual there was so a conversation about if both of y'all are top that's a problem toys and penetration and stuff like that so apparently, stuff that has to be worked through. yeah apparently they have both agreed to be bottoms once but nobody knows who's gonna do it first because they they think that the other person is gonna get out of it <laughs> is they that too much information they're trying you? to out top each other no, what they trying to do? That's interesting. I don't know, but honestly, if you if you're a top, like saying, "Oh yeah, I love you so much that I'm gonna be a bottom," that's a that's a commitment there. But who gonna do it first? Because y'all can't do it at the same time. Love is love. It is absolutely. But I'm more concerned about like how the strip is gonna go because you know every time they get together, they be arguing. I can't remember what uh what Valentine had said. He was he was like the most concerned about because he's about to marry this person. It was something else. Was it finances? It wasn't finances. They it was something different. Finances. It was something different. But Carlos is worried about the sex. So. Oh, he's worried about Michelle. Yeah. Oh, who is Michelle? Carlos's boo thing friend. Hmm. But not really, cause she don't like him back. She don't like him back. Yeah, but she wants to. He wants her to come to the wedding. Did we have an argument about that before? I don't know what you're talking about. Is she? You allowed, know what I'm saying. Is she allowed at the wedding? According to Valentine, no, but that. he wants them to meet well, so they can be friends. They can meet. But you know, that's a lot. You they, asking for a lot. They can meet, but I don't know about uh, I don't know about the rest of that stuff right there. If that's if that's not what one party wants, then I feel like everybody should abide. You know what I'm mean? saying? Look at you. That's not what you were saying last year. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. Anywho, anything else about Carlos and Valentine? He likes his hair now. Cause he can touch it. His Carlos's hair. Carlos likes Valentine's. Hair oh, cause, cause he, he can, can touch, touch it. it now. Cause it it might have rubbed off if he would have. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Trash. We like the new haircut. Uh, yeah. Valentine. We're glad. We're glad you got it. Uh, let's see. Anything else about Carlentine? Carlentine. Mm-hmm. That's a dope name. All right. Let's talk about my favorite couple. To be possibly. If Lydia. E. I don't know how, is there a Spanish name of Scott? No, that's a very white name. It's a very white name, <laughs> but guess what? I don't know if she would know how to say, I guess she would just call him Scott because that's the only English word aside from Nicole no. Nicole says Escott. Escott. <laughs> Escott maybe is the, that and no are the only words that she can say to him in English. Basically, yeah. Uh, or oh my gosh, she can repeat oh my gosh after he says it first. <laughs> Uh, oh my God. They were dumb cute. I gotta give them that. First off, can we get to before that? Jazz is Jazz thinks Nicole is gassing her mom up. It's suspicious. K sexy, K linda. My my thing was I K-Linda. didn't do that. Ah. That's we. First of all, it's the levels. Bonita. I'm not going lingerie shopping with my mom. I'm not pulling out of a, a cucumber and showing her how to put on a, a condom and all this. Like that's. That's too close to your parents. That's a lot. That's weird. That's a lot. It is. I mean, my my devil's advocate, if you will, my way was just saying that. I mean, how often do you get to see your mom like excited about going on a date, getting ready to meet somebody that she's been talking to, you know? But do you want to see your mom um, in lingerie? I'm not going shopping. It's weird. I'm it's not doing point. that. Obviously, you have some you know holdups about it. Dominicans are very like close to each other and like spend a lot of time and like the dancing is really affectionate and like people kiss their kids all all over the the next time when your homeboy get married i want you to go wedding night men lingerie shopping with him why comfortably why would i be like yeah that that look good bro that's not the same that's not the same thing i want you to do it it's not the same thing since you're saying it's normal i didn't say it's normal i said for a young dominican woman to and to like hype up her mom. I have mad Dominican friends. I have mad Dominican friends that's and post, they went out that with their mom and did that? I don't know. I don't know. They post their mama, oh look how good my mom looked, blah blah blah. It's a that's it's a very different. Dominicans, please comment please and do. let Jasmine know. I'm from the Bronx, y'all. She, she you know what I'm saying? I grew up with mad Dominican people. But hey, hey, I'm just it's saying. weird to be to be calling your mom sexy. It's I, weird to be pulling out thongs for your I mom. I hear you. That's the kind of love that they share. Now, if you want to go on the flip side and get to the American 
side of this. That was weird too. I don't think that we needed to know what uh what Scott's father's stroke game was like. I just feel like that wasn't. I felt like it was a bit much. <laughs> I feel like that. You know, your daddy had to chase me around with the chill. He said until the day he died. Chill. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Come on, bro. Chill, mom. Chill, all right? Yeah, that's a lot. Well, I know you. You like them young things. You know what I'm saying? Your sex drive. Why do you know about my sex drive? Right. That's what I was like. Do he, he doesn't live with his mom. How would she know? Or you talk about sex with your mom to that degree? That's weird. I'm sorry. I don't know none of that. Apparently, the mom thinks that Lydia is too old for him. Uh... Yeah, he doesn't even know how old Lydia I is, that actually. Was weird too. Also weird. Apparently, they've been dating for, they've been a talking year? for a year and a half, yeah. he said. I don't know how that works out. But they look happy. They were happy to see each other upon first arrival. Then they realize they can't talk to each other. And is it next episode that we see? I'm trying to. Yeah. My translator is not. They did, they did look excited when they finally met at the airport. Well, first of all, do not uh, tackle me. At the airport, please. Especially when I'm not paying attention. All right. The way he snuck up, looking like Steve, Steve Stone Cold Steve Austin sneaking out from somewhere like, oh, no, watch out. Uh, <laughs> oh, since we got I Never Liked Alejandro on here, another part of the of Nicole hyping her up, we were saying that it's possible. It's possible. She's just like, all right, bye, mom. And then calling up Alejandro on the side like, you he could slide through. You think that's what's happening? Hey, we know Nicole a little bit. We really? don't know her. We don't know her all the way, but we'll see. We'll see how it I'm turns sorry. out. I'm sorry. All these family relationships are weird to me. And I guarantee you we will not see Pedro. Anything else about why you think? I don't think so. Pedro. We already saw a picture of Pedro, so that counts to me. Uh, anything else about Lydia and Scott that we're looking forward to that we want to discuss? I'm just, I just want to see if when he asked a random guy at the bar to translate for him, what he's going to do. No, no English. <laughs> no, no. Dang. What do you do? You that's just rough. dance at that point. That's rough. Even I had to hop on Duolingo a little bit, man. That's crazy. Hopefully he's worked on his, uh, his dance moves. I'm just like, what were, were they just relying on the translations this whole time? Instead Most of they I were, feel like if I was dating somebody, not that I am, computer would, love. but I would be like, oh, teach me some like basic. Absolutely. So I can talk to you. Right. Mi amor. Like, <laughs> hey. That's her love language being picked up. <laughs> I, <laughs> adios. <laughs> Y'all, that's this, what she said. I can't. This has been an episode of the Jasmine Show, guys. That's it. This is crazy. It is. Let let us know uh, how you're feeling about these couples. We still have two more couples that we haven't even seen yet. Oh yeah, there's two the, whole couples that we haven't seen yet. Girl. We will see how that turns out. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, of course, do that thing. Do that thing. Uh, and yeah, hit that little notification bell so you can see the next episode that we put up with no lag, y'all. It's coming. Brand new laptop. <laughs> it's been another episode of The Jasmine Show. Peace. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jasmine and Benjamin. Um, the Jasmine Show.